Oh, welcome back to episode three of the Patio Shea Road of the Show. We are here in AAA for the Gwinnett Braves taking on the Norfolk Tides. In the bottom half of the second inning, Patty digs in. The pitch from the left-hander is going to be popped up down the right field line. Will it stay fair? Will it carry? No. Into the glove of the right fielder. So Patty goes down on his first at bat of the night. So the Braves are now up 3-1. to one. The team's been playing well so far. The bottom of the third. Two outs, and Patty grounds out to the second baseman. 0 for 2 on the day, just like that. Now his third at bat, he's 0 for 2 so far with a fly out and a ground out. His average has dipped below the Mendoza line. Looks like he might not quite be ready for all for triple-A ball. And at the bottom of the sixth, once again, looking like he might not be ready for triple-A ball. He's going to have to be a little more patient. And you're better than that. You're better than that, Patty. You're better than that. It's the bottom of the eighth, one-run ball game. And Patty, you're better than that. Damn it, Patty! Pops up to right field. Shallow right field. Right fielder barely has to move. And he, well, didn't do so well. He went 0 for 4 on the day. And his average is now 154. He's only got two hits and 13 at bats since being called up to AAA. Looks like they might have, might have, just, just possibly, maybe one game in AA, which is just, just possibly, just possibly, two little games in too little amount of games in uh, double-A. So now we're playing the Charlotte Knights. And Patty, once again, starts the game off with a ground out to second base. The slump continues. You would like to be able to develop your game a little bit and then be promoted to triple-A, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. So by the third, still nothing, nothing, and you're better than that, Patty! You know you are! And he delivers! He knows he's better than that, and he rips one into center field for a base hit. Patty O'Shea, his first base hit in this video, and he's one for two on the day. So Charlotte's up 2 nothing. the bottom of the fifth, and Patty rips one to right field into the glove of the right fielder. Despite solid contact, he's now one for three. So Charlotte's up 2 nothing now. Bottom half of the eighth, runners on first and second. No outs, the pitch, check swing, and he's called the strike. Goes down on strikes. So now, bottom of the ninth, 6-4 to four is the score. And Patty rips one into right field down the line. That's going to get one man over to third base. But Patty's going to be tagged up on the play. And the Gwinnett Braves have lost their, their first game of the regular season on a play that Patty tried to extend it. So, a little, little bit better in today's game. Two for five, two singles. And uh, a bit better than the first game. 7-1 and one now on the season. And then we'll pick things up against the Norfolk Tides. Gwinnett is 8-3, playing the 4-7 and seven Norfolk Tides, which is the team they started off this video against. So Gwinnett's up 2-0 in the top of the third. Runners on first and second. Two outs. The lefty pitcher. And no Shea pops this one into foul territory. The third baseman is there. Can of corn in foul territory. Poor at bat for Patty. Undoubtedly. So now in the bottom half of the fifth, Gwinnett's up 2-0, and Patty's fielding is still there. He, he can still field. That's not the problem. He can still field. He can still play the outfield. Good reaction. Gets the ball. Over the shoulder catch. And now 0 for 2 on the day. Grand after pop-up in the top of the sixth. Gwinnett's still up 2-0 because they're playing good baseball. It's just Patty's not playing good baseball. So the lefty pitch once again, and the slider comes in on him. Shatters his bat, but he does get down the first baseline on the fielder's choice, but... No hit and poor at bat, so no luck for Patty. No luck of the Irish. Here is the luck of the Irish to be found to be. Bottom of the seventh, and despite the, I believe that was poor reaction, Patty gets to the, yeah, poor reaction. He gets to the ball over the shoulder at the wall. And like I said, his feeling is still there. Gwinnett's still up 2 nothing, And this time, Patty is going to pop one up in the even really, really shallow right field. And he pops up, and he is now 0 for 4. Another 0 for 4 for Patrick O'Shea. 
No luck of the Irish to be found in this slump in AAA because they possibly, just possibly, could have called them up a bit too quick. You know, one game in AA might have been rushing at things. So let's take a look at some uh, ratings updates because I spent a decent amount of the stubs I got from the Anniversary Edition on Patty's uh, Road to the Show points. I got like 5k, and now you can see his contacts in the 60s, power in the 40s, bun thing I left, plate visions in the 60s. Uh, batting clutch is 50 still, and we flip things over to fielding. Fielding and reaction both 45, arm strength 60, arm accuracy 50, speed is 75 plus an upgrade from the equipment which you'll be seeing soon. And then stealing's 50, base running aggressive is 60, durability is 70 because we don't want Patty getting hurt. So our bat that we're using is a Louisville Slugger, pro stock ash, plus 2 power, plus 2 contact, Louisville Slugger is the Bat Company of Bat Companies. Batting gloves, we've got the Rawlings, Plate Vision and Discipline. Those look exactly like the ones I wore, except the red and white version, but Patty doesn't wear batting gloves, but he still gets the upgrades. So, shh, shit, we're not gonna tell anyone. So, Wilson, batting glove. I mean, Wilson, fielding glove. Wilson! Tom Hanks. So now, cleats, we've got the Under Armour Deception DTs, plus 10 speed, plus 10, plus 14 reaction time. He's going to have some sick wheels out in the field. And then a good night's rest, which is a very underrated and overlooked way to I don't know, play better. And Patty does not overlook it, so he gets a good night's sleep. We'll take a look. He is now the second best left fielder on the Braves organization, only behind only a few overall points. Patty's a 67, while Johnny Gomes is a 71. But Patty needs to improve his AAA stats to earn anything in the majors. And if he does get called to the majors, that'll be a almost a record to get called to the majors from AA as an 18-year-old. That's just just maybe a bit rushing it, you know. But uh, through seven games, he's in 226. And that's pretty much to wrap it up for this episode three of the Patrick O'Shea Road to the Show. On it'll be 15 the show. I've been your host, Jersey Born, and I'm saying. Goodbye. I'm an Irishman, leather weathered Irish skin, beard orange is the sunset of the flag, in the night sky we fly it in, pride for the life we fight to live, history I write with it, spit it with the dialect, and this is a celebration of course, the great white orange.